My name is Sire Perkins. I'm a nationally certified tow master with TREA. I'm also the manufacturer certified tow provider for McLaren. Right here we have a 2016 McLaren 570S hybrid. This is the entry level of the McLarens that just came out this year. Nobody knows anything about this. This video is to help tow providers learn about this car in case they need to tow it. This car is a hybrid and it is very fragile. It is on an aluminum carbon frame with a whole bunch of alloy and plastic. It's very simple to tear it up. This car is the price of a house. Now if this car is dead, the battery is dead, you cannot move it. For all the tow providers that think they can move it with a tow hook, skates, dollies, you cannot. I repeat, you cannot. You've got to jump the car and get it started. And then you can drive it on the bed. The reason for this, the emergency brake has a hydraulic pump. Without any hydraulic pressure, it will not relieve the pressure. So that means the only other way is to drag it. Well, I'm here to tell you, because it's a mid-rear engine vehicle with a hybrid, there's too much weight in the back. There is no tow bolt connections in the rear. There is nowhere to hook up anything underneath the car. And if you think you're going to go to an axle strap, the problem is it's got a cover and the axles are covered in plastic. You will tear up the car. Now, I'm going to show you a few little tricks. The vehicle, if it is locked and the power is dead, it takes two people to unlock the vehicle. Two people. One person with two hands to turn the key. Another person to push down on the door. The door is pneumatic, so it's free. It's locked in place. There is a locked cylinder under here. You take the key fob. You very gently remove the fob, take it apart. You will find a funky looking key. That funky looking key is what you need. Once somebody's on the ground, you will turn it clockwise, a quarter of a turn. And then the person that's opening the door will push down. And you can rise up the door. Now you've gained access to the compartment of the car. Now you've got to get into the front. Remember, the, rear, the engine is in the rear. Get into the front, you come over here inside the door jam. And open up, open up the hood compartment. Now with the hood ornament compartment, you will find. So you lift up the hood. Right here is the battery compartment. You will take a screwdriver gently take this out this gives you access to the battery this right here is an official McLaren battery charger this car is what you need this battery charger is what you're going to need to get this car going the connections in there are small you will need to put this car on this charger for a minimum of eight hours. 12 to 24 hours is recommended. Now the problem is because of the hydraulics on the brakes, without it running, you cannot release this brake. This car is an all wheel drive vehicle, mid engine. You can drive it on the bed just as easily as you can pull it. This car, you will mess it up, tear it up, and damage it beyond repair if you're going to drag it or use skates. 
that is my message to all the tow providers out here. I don't want anybody to be buying a McLaren. To shut the McLaren, you let it go, and then you hit it back like that. Again, there is no points for axle straps. It's too heavy for axle skates. If you have the all-wheel drive Collins flatbed dollies, you don't have enough clearance. There's only four inches of clearance under the wheels. So literally, you can't go jacket, you can't use dollies, and you can't use skates. That's why McLaren gives you a battery charger. I hope this video is helpful. From your friends at Tow Atlanta that feature and specialize luxury and exotic towing, have a great day.